All right, so welcome back to our Mega Man X8 talk through. We're up to Sigma stages. That cutscene, by the way, is hilarious. It's like something out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Sigma appears and is like, hey, I'm here. And then X is proven to be correct as a paranoid old man. It was Sigma. I was right. This is the best music in the game. And unfortunately, I'm probably talking over it in uh, the actual video. So we're not going to listen to it here. The Jacob Elevator is actually a really lame stage, except for that music. It is a giant auto-scroller. It's, it's like the Technodrome level in Turtles in Time, right? You're on an elevator, you reach a threshold, and you're, you're just beating up enemies. That's all there is to it. I still have this circle on the screen. Get that out of there. So, uh, yeah, this level is exactly what you see. Spin, spin to win. Uh, when you reach the floors, the spin is a little uh, tighter than that. I mean, if you're doing it right, just like that, the enemies kind of land. They never get off their feet. Uh, but the shield guys, right, uh, you want to make sure you take them out before they get a chance to establish themselves, set up the shield, and block your shots. Uh, you also see a health drop there. If you want to, you can start playing, playing chicken against the life charges, and uh, you can actually get a fair amount of health for your sub tank in this stage if one of the shield guys does manage to set up uh, your best move is to usually just switch to the sword so that you have the close range attack get in front of them and use the standing special the big swing like what uh, we used earlier in this run against uh, trilobite it's uh, the weapon you get from gravity antonian and that will just obliterate the shield guys. And I mean, that's the stage. For the record, I think you actually do have to kill every enemy in this stage for it to really continue. That kind of floating capture guy is your cue that you're coming up to the last level. Again, keep zero centered just so you're hitting the whole screen. And once you take all these guys out, you can fly up. Nothing special about this but flying up. Right when uh, your metal count goes off the screen, you kind of get a feel for when it happens. You've lost control, and now Zero is stuck flying up. And there he goes. Mash start to kind of skip things. You can see Zero fly into space, but if you hit start right away, you get to see that. The moment that happens, by the way, let go of the buttons. Let Zero land. It's another vile fight. He's the actual boss of this stage. His weakness is ice, if you're curious. Uh, if you have to use Ice as X, it's actually a pretty reasonable option to win this fight. But uh, you get your Vial down to about here, and you fly up. Now you can kind of see uh, these lightning bolts are disappearing at intervals. Uh, when they disappear, they're not there. That's your opportunity to dash through them, quote-unquote, casually. And that's how you get through this. Uh, as soon as it starts going the other way, let go of that spin fly. It's not uh, the, an exact timing, but uh, you do need zero to land. So we got zero to land, everybody. And then you win. And again, the last hit, feel free to use ice, his actual weakness, to end it. 
easy fight, easy life. Uh, you shouldn't have any more shopping to do unless you're refilling from safeties. The next stage is uh, the refights. <clears throat> I know when 